Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to save uh, item of checked uh, from checkbox list or you can say that uh, how to save checkbox list checked item of checkbox list into database table so um, I have a demo uh, I want to show you so uh, first of all fill the course I have two entity that is the course and the students and in between we have multiple many to many relationships so uh, the title is PTAC that is the course ins inserted and now we go for the course and the students there are the course is mentioned when we create a new student there is that is the view model so BCMC and BTAC is there so I want to in which have uh, the multiple list uh, of the checkbox without jQuery I, uh, I I'll sold it last name first name and the Jacob at the rate of gmail.com and the roll number is there okay when we click on the create button the list is there the name is there in the, into the student table okay now uh, select the database there is not found so click on the SQL server and connect to the database put the name into the database table so give the name to the uh, SQL server and choose your database that is web application 5 okay and test your connection after that you can uh, check your uh, course table student course and the students in which we have uh, three courses student two entries and there are the two student okay that's fine now how to create it so first of all create a course table okay and uh, get the data from the uh, course from the database table okay so it's easy now create a new controller that is uh, uh, course controller and we have a model ID first name last name and the, and the students student course that is the middle layer and the course is the last table so in which we have many to one uh, one relationship and one to many relationship is there in between so both the student and the course we have many to many relationships okay so in the application db context add three table that is students course and the student course also you can uh, define the has key in which we have student id and the course id that is enrolled in the student course table it's not a primary key actually it's a unique you can say in which you can define a new controller okay the course controller in the course controller first of all add a application DB context okay and after that your controller is there uh, create a constructor and retrieve the item on the index I want to uh, create a list of the course so get the item uh, course item from the list from the database table and uh, pass to the view so add a new view on the index table with the course model template sorry with the uh, list of template and the course model 
and the data context is the application db context okay add it after that after adding successfully your view you have course view inside your view section that is the index and is that that view is automatically created by the scaffolding so uh, no need to change anything okay there is the index okay the list of item is there in the item in the model okay and when we click on the create button you want to insert any items so create get method of the create is there so now add a new view on the create section and in the create section we have these uh, entry so there is no changes right click on it add view and here you can select create scaffolding model classes also course okay and the application db context is there add click on the add button after that you can see your these uh, scaffolding okay so here also you not uh, you not need uh, to change anything okay when we click on the submit button the post method will call okay now you can uh, run this application again and see one by one uh, when how to uh, save your course data into the course table so uh, this is the simple click on the course so first of all call the index action method there the list of items is there bc mc and btag so solve the result the first of all open controller section because the first request getting from the control controller section index method is called and there is the list get the item from the list there is context.cost.to list when we click on the create button there is the in the view section of your index method click and see your one uh, text box with the submit button so create section call uh, our view that is the create.cshtml and we have submit button when we click on the submit button that your submit button is there in the create section call your submit method post method thank you very much for watching this and please see my second part of this video thank you very much